Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna be doing an unboxing of some products that I've been sent by a company called Craspire. They reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I'd be willing to receive some of their products uh, to try them. And of course I said, yes, I'm not gonna turn down free, free supplies. So the orders finally arrived. So I'm just gonna do a video today showing you what they sent me and then just a quick demonstration of using wax seals. And then I will make another video in a little bit more detail showing how you can use these with your card making. So I got to choose my products and these are the products that I chose. So the first uh, tub that I've just showed you was a box of white wax melts or wax seal beads. Um, these two are sticks of clear wax. So I'm excited to try these. Um, obviously having clear wax means that you can do a few different techniques with them. So um, they come lovely packaged in a box and foil. Unfortunately, the box uh, and the foil didn't protect mine from breaking, but it doesn't really matter because you're gonna melt these down anyway. So I wasn't worried about that. The next product I'm gonna show you is this box of wax seals. I chose a selection of wax seals in purples and pinks and it came with some silver ones as well uh, this is a cute little set it came with a couple of tea lights and a spoon which is great if you're just starting out um, so that was a nice touch um, but the main product was just these wax seals so I'm just um, removing this cellophane there and then I'll show you the colours they're really nice and vibrant uh, there's a good selection of colours here and of course remember you can mix the wax beads together and create your own colours so yeah it was really useful to have these so I've gone and opened all the stamps and I really just want to show you these up close so I ordered a handle with the set as well so that was quite useful to have an extra handle and then these are some of the designs that I chose so this first one is a really cute vase of flowers it's got a ladybird and some clouds and a sun and a lovely smiley face so that was really cute the second design that I chose was this ladybird, so I thought that would be great, especially as it's a bigger design. So if you want to try techniques using different coloured waxes, that, that's pretty really good stamp to go for. I then chose a butterfly because everybody needs a butterfly in their stash. And then I chose this really cute happy mail stamp. So I thought that would just look lovely, especially, you know, if you're, if you're sending mail and sealing cards, just really cute. The dinosaur head was chosen because my husband loves dinosaurs and it's very much Jurassic Park-esque so I thought I'd better order it, it can go on his anniversary card this year. <laughs> uh, and then I chose a nice big flower. This one is really cute, it's got lots of floral decoration and if you can just about make out the words there it says thank you. Um, and then I chose this cloud um, stamp, so again another great one for trying out different techniques. This one's really cute. I love the fact that it's square. It's a postage stamp design with some flowers and a little postage mark. So that was really cute. And then, of course, I had to choose this cat on books because I love cats. And to be honest, there was so much choice on the website. I spent hours and hours and hours trying to pick out products. And yeah, they just had such a wide variety. All of the details are going to be in the description box below because the lovely people at Craspire have sent me a coupon code for anybody that's watching this video. If you do choose to go ahead and order, then I have got a special code that's in the description box below. So all of that information and their website address will be there. Um, so yeah, I definitely would recommend checking out their website. There was just tons to choose from. So if you're thinking about getting started with wax seals, that's probably the best place to start. So I'm just going to do a quick demo now of using one of the wax seals. I'm going to use the Happy Mail one as I've just showed you. I've added a few beads to the spoon and I'm just waiting for that to melt. You kind of want it to start being runny. You don't want to overheat it, but you need it to have that runny consistency. So as soon as that's heated up, I've then slowed this down to real time. And I'm just going to pour it onto my little silicone mat there. And I'm just trying to make sure that I keep it in that round uh, shape. Any wax that drips down the spoon, you can wipe off later with some kitchen towel um, or you could just pop it on the cork mat uh, if you want. And then I'm just going to pop that seal there. I'm going to make sure it's nice and centred and then I'm just going to give that probably about 30 seconds or so just so that it sets in the wax. And this is kind of the real lifetime that it would take to do a wax seal. I think sometimes it's a little bit deceiving when you watch reels. It looks like it's an instant process, but actually it does take a little bit of time. So just be patient with it. And that's kind of part of the art form, really. So as soon as that is set, we'll be able to then just wiggle the stamp and move that off. And 
then we'll have a beautiful round wax seal. And as you can see, having a non-stick mat, it just makes it really easy to remove that seal. So I'm just gonna bring my camera back into focus and there you can see you've got that lovely stamped image. So thank you so much for joining me today for this slightly different video, but I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you'd not heard of Craspire before, I really hope that you do go and check out their website. They had a real amazing abundance of products to choose from. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video where we will hopefully try and make some cards using wax seals and try some different techniques. So thank you so much for joining me today and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.